When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? Oh, oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay it alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Our bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Sense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anise. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron. Hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Fike! Well, bring out the gimp. Think the gimp's sleeping? Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? It's everywhere. I, I, I see it all around. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen.
Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Erveloos. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Damn. Trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Hmm. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is... Against what? Won't find much else here. Rubble. Rubble everywhere. Done poking around. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. What could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. This is Triss. No offense, but, uh, not great with your hands, are you? Why don't you take some wooden rags, see what image of a grown woman you can come up with? Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night... I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. 
If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. I want to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumour has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. I need a good plan. So Siri was here. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. A spinning top. Quick as toy. Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. 
You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Our friend! She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I bought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stool. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. I'm not playing. I'm helping. Gonna kill the monsters. All of them. One foot. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death! Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got our souls, they will. How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over, and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Let's lay him down.
man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer. Lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad about as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. Nothing here for you. 